Hello guys, this is Rich from TV and welcome back to my channel, Let's Roll Start Devotional. Guys, I would like to shout out the following person on channel na punta rito at na join sa devotional natin the other night. Shout out and God bless to Heart Ponsalan na nagpa-super chat <laughs> with a greeting and happy Father's Day to all. Shout out and God bless also to It's Mommy Rose, Edward, Pemi, and Casey Kalumpang, Mommy Pearl Maravillas, Juju Lester the channel, Connie Vlog, Yang TV, Hilda Dison, Jonas Salundaga, Rosel Badong, Diane Spakadalhin, Annie Barrios, and Pamilya Lagan Channel. Guys, tapos na naman ang isang araw at sana, no, all is well by God's will and by God's help. help no? uh, so, mga sudyante, malapit na talaga <laughs> yung iba na graduation na tayo, hindi pa, no. Pero, let's move on. Malapit na talaga. Next week, gagraduate na kayo. Okay, let's now proceed to our devotional. Let's open our Bible to 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7 to 18. Still, guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words you see is simplified my tindahan talaga natin. Ang reading sa atin ngayon is about treasures in jars of clay. And the word of the Lord in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7 to 18 says, But we have this treasure in charge of play to show that this all-passing power is from God and not from us. We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. For we who are alive are always being given over to the death of, for Jesus' sake, for Jesus' sake, so that his life may be revealed in our mortal body. So then, Jesus is at work in us, but the life is at work in you. It is written, I believe, therefore, I have spoken with that same spirit of Faith, we also believe that therefore speak, because we know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus from the dead will also raise us with Jesus and present us with, with you in the presence, in his presence. All this is for your benefit, so that the grace that is reaching more and more People may cause thanksgiving to overflow to the glory of God. Therefore, we do not lose heart. Throughout, what, throughout worldly, we are wasting away. Yet inwardly, we are being renewed day by day. Amen. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that for outweighs them out. Outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Amen and amen. Okay, guys, let's now pray. Father God, we thank you, dear God, that uh, even though we really suffer and uh, nobody's excited from that, oh God, uh, you have mentioned many things, so Lord God, negative in, in the past, is, but yet, there is also positive, O Lord God, in it, O Lord. Yes, we are hard-pressed, but not crushed, O Lord God. We are persecuted, but uh, you love in us, O Lord God. Uh, hindi talaga matatalo, O Lord God. That's why, Lord, as you move on, give us the spirit to be on things sa mga problema ang dumarating sa amin. Especially that there are really those, O Lord God, uh, viewers, my members na, na join dito sa devotional ni Rich TV, oh God, na may mga problema talaga, oh God. Problema sa uh, mga membro ng pamilya na may inang-inang sakit, mga bata na may mga diferensya. Lord, ikaw, Lord God, ang mag maghip, oh Lord God, for us to be healed and for us to be provided with the needs na kailanganin namin, oh God. Lord, let us ano, grow unto you, oh Lord God. 
and with you on our God. Lord, thus it was hard that we may learn from you through these devotions we have in this. In this name we pray, Amen and Amen. Okay guys, our focus verse for this evening is found in 2 Corinthians 4.18 and it says, We fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Wow, ang hirap no na. But, there is a but, no? Okay, so, the title of our devotional for this evening, guys, is Eternal Eyes. Eternal Eyes, that's what my friends, Madeline prays for children and grandchildren would have. Her family has gone through a tumultuous season that ended with the death of her daughter. As the family grieves for the horrific loss, Madeline longs for them to be less and less nearsighted. Consumed by the pain of this world. Oh, that's true. Marami sa atin dito, di, di ba? Okay. And to be more and more farsighted, filled with hope in our loving God. The Apostle Paul and his co-worker experienced great suffering on the hand of persecutors and even from believers who tried to discredit them. Yet, they had their eyes fixed on eternity. Paul boldly acknowledged that we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. No? And yung verse natin ngayon. Although they were doing good work, God's work, they live with the reality of being pressed on every side. Oh, grabe, no? Perplexed, persecuted, and struck down. Should not God have delivered them? From these troubles, but instead of being disappointed, Paul built his hope on eternal glory that supersedes momentary trouble. We know God's power was at work in him and had complete assurance that the one who raised the Lord Jesus from the dead will also raise us with Jesus. Amen. Let's claim that, guys. No? When, our world, when our world around us feels shaky, may we turn our eyes to God, the eternal rock that will never be destroyed. Amen. One of the things I learned while studying as a missionary you know, in uh, Europe is that, sabi sa amin, persecution and suffering would also go. Magkakambal talaga sila. Kaya nobody is exempted from persecution and suffering, and most of us are really suffering you know, uh, from this uh, problem. But, Sabi ni Lord, no? Yung assurance niya dito na, ano talaga? I really like this one, no? We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed. Wow, ang ganda nun, no? Perplexed, but not despair. Persecuted, but not abandoned. Struck down, but not destroyed. Ang ganda kaya ng ano, guys, ng word ni Lord, no? So, although may suffering tayo, pero... Si Lord na bahala doon. <laughs> yung expression natin, bahala na si Batman. O di ba? Hindi, hindi ganyan. Hindi dapat ganyan. Bahala na si Lord sa situation natin. Problema lang yan. O di ba? Problema lang. Yan. Our God is greater than our problem, guys. No? We are all having our Goliath. And we're just David. But God's favor is in us. Problema lang yan. Malaki ang God natin. That if you claim that our God is me. Diba? May kanta nga, diba? Sa, sa Sunday school, I do not know if you have your Sunday school. My God is so great, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. Amen. And I really like that song. I had that song learned when I was in elementary. And until this time, I'm still using the word I learned from my Sunday school. I guess let's now proceed to the two question. In what do you choose to hope in spite of your difficulties? Yun. Masakit guys, masakit may problema. No? Di tayo nakakatulog but let's give it to God. Mahirap, mahirap lang kung ano, no? mahirap tanggapin talaga. Madaling sabihin pero mahirap tanggapin. But ito yung promise ni Lord. Let's focus on what is unseen. Give God. All our problems. Cast all your cares upon Him. Diba? Oh. 
Second question, how have you experienced God's faithfulness? Wow, I experience God's faithfulness every day. Yung paggising pa lang, guys, is already a gift for us, no? Na dapat natin pasalamatan. And that's faith. Natutulog tayo. Wala tayong, mag, wala, wala tayong ano, we do not know what's happening while we're sleeping. But praise God, ito, nagising pa tayo, no? The following day. And I really praise God for that. That's faithfulness. Nagaling kay God. Kaya, Let's put our faith in God and not faith in faith and not faith in ourselves. Diba? Faith in God ang gagamitin natin. Okay guys, let's now pray. We lift our eyes to you today, O oh God. Give us a glimpse of the security we have in you. Amen and amen. Yes, guys. Sana may natutunan tayo sa devotion natin. Have a good night rest so we could gain strength for tomorrow's activity. But don't forget to pray and meditate on this word. Hindi lang yung passive lang na andito kayo na wala tayong natutunan. Dapat may natutunan tayo. Okay guys, God bless us all because I know God will surely bless us 10 times better. This is again Rich Rich TV. Kita-kita tayo muli at nagkasamuli. Paalam!